There's so many basic things that we don't realize about our planet. You know, if I asked a thousand people, how did the water get here? I bet you almost no one would know. Well, 4.5 billion years ago, this spaceship, what we call Earth, was just a, another rock like Mars. When the comets collided, it deposited all the water here on Spaceship Earth 4.5 billion years ago, and it terraformed this planet into what it is today. Remember, we're carbon-based creatures, we're a handful of minerals, and we're water. The water holds the DNA of DNA. So every creature that's ever lived or ever will live is in the water. The water is live, it's life. When we're looking for life in other planets, it's the water. All the water communicates with all the other water in the planet. Think about it, every muscle you move, every thought you ever make is all transmitted through electrochemical reaction through the water as electricity. So water and electricity go hand in hand to create life. So, you know, we're not asking ourselves the right questions. You know, who are we? Where are we coming from? Where are we going? Why are we here? What is our purpose? The answer is all in the water. When we understand the water, we will understand all of the answers to all those questions. And what are we doing here? We're poisoning every drop on the planet. People think water is just hydrogen and oxygen, but it consists of protons, electrons, neutrons, ions, and all of these things have a st structure. That's why water is the ultimate chameleon. It can be a solid, it can be a liquid, it can be a gas. Everything we know about life is water. If I have a block of gold in this hand and I have a glass of water in here, they're the last two on earth. Which one do you want? You tell me how long you, you last with that block of gold, okay? We have to take care of the water because the water is us. Okay, it's the gift that makes us different from all the other planets in the universe. This is just common sense speaking. This is not uh, a religion. This is not meant to, to, to be anything more than something to think about. You know, there's so many things we don't know. We call ourselves smart. The smarter I get, the stupider I am. If I took all the knowledge that man has accumulated and I put it under a head of a pin right here, all of this is what we don't know and we call ourselves smart. We know nothing about our bodies, our oceans, our planets, our solar system. We don't know where we came from. Man's been here for two million years according to the history books. The planet's been here for 4.5 billion years. Where's everybody else been? Okay, we know nothing. We make history up as we go. You know, I don't understand a lot of things. I don't understand about God. I, don't, I just know that something created all of this. I don't know exactly what it is, but you know, I try to live my life the way I think God would want me to live it. You know, be kind to other people. You know, do do good things. You know, do unto others as have them do unto you. Take every day and do unconditional acts of kindness. The secret to life is how long you live and how well you live it and what you leave behind. People are all caught up in these rat races. We don't need to be. If you wanna live long, if you wanna be happy, follow the basic principles. Be humble and grateful and you will never be angry. These are things that will change and shape your life so that you live a happy lifetime and you can take on whatever comes your way. I mean, look at what I'm taking on. I'm taking on trying to fix the planet. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I know one plus one plus one will make the army. No man, no person is insignificant in this world. And we're all like glasses. We have our certain amount of useful in them. We have to learn how to extract that from the people around us and turn that into good for all of us. Our goal should not be accumulating money in life. It should be accumulating souls and making the world better for the people that are next to us and the people that we touch. You know, that's the legacy that I want to live, and I'm trying to get as many soldiers as I can to do it. And take care of the water. And take care of the water. Whatever gas is left in my tank, whatever it happens to be, when you get as old as me, the, the gauge doesn't read anymore. That last quarter of the tank doesn't read. But the one thing that I can tell you is whatever time's left is going to be to fix the water and to fix the energy. It's the only way we're going to turn the ship around and go the other way. It's the only way. And, you know, I'm just looking for people to help me do it.